Let me paint you a picture. You wake up in the morning to dozens of girls reaching out to try to say hi to you. You go to get your early morning coffee. Even as you enter the door, girls are checking you out. The barista is flirting with you. You leave, you go home, you head to work. Then later that night, you go to the club. Everybody is your best friend. Everybody loves you. People are treating you like a celebrity. Girls are approaching you, asking you where you've been. People are asking you, who are you? Women are giving you eye contact, trying to get you to approach and say hi to them. In this video, I'm gonna give you five simple steps to make this a reality. With that being said, let's get into the video. Yo, bitch, I got some Step number one, fashion. This has been something that's been overplayed a lot in the Manosphere. Speaking of fashion and dressing, and so I'm not gonna get too much into it just because I don't wanna beat a dead horse. You want to fit an archetype. You can fit the bad boy, the preppy boy. You can fit the rocker kid, the jaw, the businessman. These play off a woman's fetish. Society has taught women that these looks are valuable, that if you fit into one of these categories, that you're a valuable individual and thus attractive. Girls go for guys that are considered high status. And when you dress like a high status person or you fit a certain archetype, you're going to attract her. You wanna dress in clothes that widen your shoulders, narrow your hips. Study fashion and experiment. I'm constantly working on my fit. If you guys have seen all my videos across the years, you guys will see that I've slowly have worked on my fashion. Live by trial and error. Developing skills and competencies. If you go to a club and you know how to dance, that is being competent. Girls like guys that are skilled. And if you can dance and you can have a lot of fun while you're dancing, girls are gonna be naturally attracted. I know a lot of you guys have been to the club before and you just start dancing and having a lot of fun. What happens? Women start trying to get into your energy. They start trying to join you. Maybe you can sing. Maybe you can play a guitar. These things are attractive to women. Maybe you know how to fight. Maybe you know how to speak with power. Maybe you run a big business. When you develop skills and competencies, these will make you naturally attractive to women. Pre-selection. Creating a female social circle. A lot of you guys have an issue with <laughs> trying to pull in women to become your friends. You guys can't help but try to flirt with them all the time. When you guys go out to the clubs and approach women, on occasion, you'll talk to a girl that just wants her friends on you and she's just not attracted. And you look at this as some kind of curse and you get mad and you leave the girl alone. Why not add her to your Instagram? Why not make her your friend? Why not put her in the friend zone? Because if you have an attractive friend that you go out with, wouldn't that make it tenfold easier for you to get other women? Women chase guys that are chased by other women. It's called pre-selection. Developing a social circle of cool guys, fun guys that make you laugh. I can't tell you the number of times that I've gone out and just because my friends were so cool and free flowing and because we were just such a a force of just extroverted great energy that women were coming out of the woodworks to try to say hi to us because we were having fun. When you surround yourself with cool, fun guys, women are going to like you. I've had more clients than not come to me that have no social circle, that are trying to get better with women without having any guy friends. How the fuck are you gonna do that? Girls have always gone for the popular guys and they will always go for the popular guys. This is biological. If you're around other cool guys, guess what? She's gonna be chasing you down. She's gonna wanna talk to you and get to know you. Mannerisms and mindsets. This one's gonna be a lot tougher for most of you because this is habitual. This is something that you have to work on over time. It's the way you move and the way you speak. There's a way that you can move and speak that makes you sexy, that makes you attractive to women. And when you can adopt this way of moving, when you adopt this way of speaking, girls can't help being attracted to you. Let me break it down. It's pauses, eye contact, moments of stillness while also still being able to be expressive, slow languid movements. It's dragging the vowels. It's varying the pace, the pitch, the volume. You can whisper on occasion. Sometimes you speak up and you're loud and you're just, you're, you're obnoxious, but it's, but it's a constant changing of, of speeds. It's, it's a vast variety of different mannerisms that make you seem confident, that make you seem as if you have your shit handled. Now, how could you practice this? I call it celebrity mirroring. What you do is you stand in front of a mirror and you try to imitate maybe a celebrity. Maybe you play a movie from a guy that's considered attractive from women. Somebody all constantly practices Ryan Reynolds or Matthew McConaughey or Billy from Stranger Things. I'll use these characters and I'll watch the way they move they can speak and I'll try to act like them. Now, what it does is it allows me now to turn it on like light switch. When I wanna be sexy, I can do it. And it's all down to just practice. It's it's acting. Now, it's it's hard to be able to move and speak like these guys when you don't have the mindsets underneath. So this is where the next step takes place. 
you want to start designing your next version of yourself. You want to be thinking constantly, who is the person that I need to be that will allow me to move and speak like this? Because the action feeds the ego, the ego feeds the action. The person underneath has to also match the actions or you're going to constantly fight being able to speak and move like this. If you don't think you're sexy, you're going to have a hard time moving and speaking like these guys. There's an underlying personality trait that allows you to move and speak like this. The action is always fe feeding the ego. If you're wondering why it's hard for you to not stutter, to add pauses, to hold eye contact, it's because you don't think that you are the person that aligns with that action subconsciously. You need to do everything in your power to allow yourself to align with that person, that personality trait, to be able to move and speak like this. And it comes down to consistent, focused effort. Knowing where you have to go, knowing who you have to be and moving in that direction over time. If you guys wanna learn more about this, I have a video, I'll post it right up over here. Go ahead and check it out. If you guys are interested in coaching, text me up at 702-841-9909. I do online and in person. If you wanna get a boot camp, hell yeah. If you guys wanna do coaching calls, hell yeah. Now let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. With that being said, peace. Yo, bitch,